<coughs> Good afternoon everybody, Talking Tommy coming at you once again from Halifax, West Yorkshire. Hope everybody's doing alright. Uh, big thanks to everyone who has recently liked, subscribed or commented. As always, it is much appreciated. I'm going to do another one of my UK over the counter blend reviews today. And if a hat wasn't a big enough giveaway, I'll show you what it is. This is Players Navy Flake or Navy Medium Cut Flake. So I, I don't know the full name for it, I apologise. But I put it in a jar a while ago because the packaging is quite cheap and not very good. Um, it'll cause the tobacco to just dry out once it's been opened. But Nevertheless, there it is, and I have packed it into my rock, which I don't know the name of the pipe because it's sort of uh, faded. Was, uh, I picked it up in a job lot from eBay quite a while ago, restored it, uh, recently re restored it because the rim was charred to buggery. Um, but yeah, I don't know what shape you'd call that. Maybe a billiard, maybe a Dublin. I don't know. Anyway, on to the tobacco review. issues there, that was the wind really, more than anything, that wasn't the tobacco, because the tobacco is a good moisture content, I've kept it in the jar quite a while, this is my first time smoking it either, as you may have guessed, um, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a breeze out here this evening. As well as the usual uh, noise interruptions and what have you. You know how it is. Well, it's quite an odd tobacco, this I find. I think, um, personally, I think it's a fantastic introduction to flakes if um, you're not. Uh, if you've, never, if you've never smoked flake tobaccos before, I think it makes a fantastic first time flake. It's uh, Virginia Burley. There seems to be some dispute, um, not with a lot of people, but there just seems to be some dispute between some of the materials I've read as to whether it has a casing or not. I've read some places that it has rum, I've read other places that it has no casing whatsoever. I really detect much rum. Maybe like a slight hint, but certainly it's certainly not cased in it. Maybe like a very slight topping, but you barely notice it's going with it. So it might not be a case, and it might not be a topping, it might just be the composition of uh, the Virginias and Burleys used that give it that kind of almost sort of rummy molasses kind of notes. So more of a sort of a raisin it or a figgy kind of note to that, I think. How's the door by that look? All right. Thought about my impression. Excuse me. I thought 
unfortunately it's not a cup of rum. Skull night. Some drinking milk. Our rock and roll and iron. And it's very pleasant. It's very um, mild, I think. Mild to medium, I'd say, it's in terms of flavour and in terms of nicotine content. It's not going to knock your socks off. It'd make an alright all day blend, if you liked it, that is, of course. It's pleasant enough. It's okay. Nice aroma. Reminds me slightly of all the golden slice, actually. In that it's predominantly Virginia. I mean, I know all it doesn't have burly. I'm not going to say anything of a kind, so don't worry. I'm not going to ruffle any feathers there. But. Um, it does remind me a bit slightly, it's got a sort of hay, hay kind of uh, smell and flavour to it a little bit, I think. That's probably the light Virginia juice in there, I would have thought. Um, but it burns pretty well. Smokes okay, I mean, it's, it's a little bit tangy, a little bit tangy, I think it's best sipped. I think if you were to absolutely puff and puff and puff on it, you are going to burn your mouth to smithereens I think it's okay but apparently it was uh, Tolkien Tolkien however that's pronounced the Lord of the Rings guy you know what I mean him he, um, he apparently was a big fan, apparently it was one of his uh, daytime, day, all day smokes, I don't know if you want to say. Um, that and Capstan Blue, I think, which I've also got, which uh, I've only smoked the ones. Um, burns a little bit hot, maybe. That could be because I've had it quite a while, I don't know because I'm chugging away to keep it lit <laughs> or you, you shouldn't do I'm only doing it for the purposes of this video you should take your time with it don't worry about it really just enjoy yourself there's not many people whining about real I mean who cares? Who honestly cares? I mean, if you if you're rushing to get a bowl of tobacco down your then you're completely missing the point of smoking a pipe. I think. That should become one of the pipes that smoke the most. This is. Not for any particular reason, I just quite get around with shape, I think it's quite good. I have a classic kind of uh, style to it. I don't tend to have a favourite between straight and uh, bent pipes really. I prefer bent pipes in the sense that you can just let it hang. You can clench a lot easier on a bent pipe, I mean. Oh well. Yeah. Strip pipes are good both for keeping the smoke out of your face. So there is that, you know. Different strokes of different folks, isn't it? But um yeah, it's not too bad. I suppose if I had to give it an out of five, let's let's assume I gave Condor a four, because it's alright, then uh actually give it a proper rating on the video but it's, it's alright you could do worse than Condor I think uh, ticks a lot of boxes for me personally um, 
I'll probably give probably give it a steady fall. But as for this, I'll probably give it more of a more of a three point five I think. It's alright. It's not it's not great. It's, it's a little bit better than average in my opinion. I think as an introduction to flakes, it's, it's fantastic. It's fantastic, you know, you can uh, you have a flakes rub out really easily, they fold really easily. Um, you will want to, if you're buying 50 grams and you don't think you're going to smoke 50 grams particularly quickly, you will want to decant it from the pouch into an airtight jar as soon as possible because it dries up fairly quickly. Actually rubbed this out. I didn't, uh, didn't do the fold and stuff method. Fold and stuff method. I don't know. When it works, it works. When it doesn't, it really doesn't work for me, unfortunately. But I don't think the flakes when they rubbed out. I don't think it it alters it much. To be honest, I think the depth of flavour is still retained. Thing, as long as you pack it correctly, you shouldn't have any problems really. It also gives you greater control when you rub it out as to the sort of clay it is. I mean, I prefer more of a sort of broken flake. I, mean, I don't rub it so fine that, you know, compare it to roll up or anything like that. I mean, more like a sort of broken flake. So I don't so much rub it out as I just tear it into bits, sort of mash it together, and then just sort of start sticking it in the pipe. It's a method that seems to do well to the partners here. It's really weird. Um, I've got quite a lot of subscribers now to say I've only been doing this two weeks. Um, I've got over 50, which I'm actually shocked I've got that many people interested in hearing what I've got to say about anything. Um, but it's really humbling, it really is. But the thing is as well is, the really weird thing is, um, I find that when I first started doing videos, I just sort of let loose and just didn't really think about what I was saying because um, I didn't think anyone would watch it. But now I'm like, yeah, I've got like 50 odd people I'm talking, it's like I'm talking to a room of 50 odd people I'm actually now trying to, you know, make sure that before I switch the camera and I've got something to s interesting worth listening to to say Where's that? I'm sure that's not really the case <laughs> So, in summation, players, navy, medium, navy cut flake. There's an over counter blend. Yeah, it's alright. I don't think it's available in a lot of places. Sorry about that. Um, I don't think it's available in, in loads of places. I don't think um, like you'll necessarily miss out if you don't try it. It's, it's alright, it's not bad, it's okay. It's quite enjoyable, um, but I wouldn't really be devastated if you can't get hold of it. If you really want to try, if you really want to try it, you can get it at GQ Tobacco's. Little plug there. I personally, I can get it from my local indoor market, um, and yeah, I think it's okay. It's all right. It, it, it's mild to medium strength, mild to medium flavour. Um, you could probably smoke it all day long, not have a problem. It's better sipped as opposed to puffed hard because it will burn your tongue. But when you show me a tobacco that won't wreck your mouth if you're careless with it, um, it's it's all right. It's okay. It's a little bit better than average, in my opinion. I don't think it's a massive amount better than average. It's all right. But hey, you know, give it a whirl. See what you think. I mean, there's probably better navy flakes out there. To be honest with you, I know of at least two I've tried that are better. 
Um, I won't. Then, yeah. so I'll, if, if, I, if I find the time, I'll review them at another point. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Could probably do better. Um, but yeah, give it a whirl. See what you think. I mean, don't trust my opinion. It's okay. Oh, I would I rate it higher than 3.5. But at the end of the day, give me a good excuse to wear my door by heart, didn't it? So, with that, um, thank you very much for watching. Just no idea how long this has gone on for, I'm rambling away. Um, but yeah, thank you very much. Um, thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who likes and comments and what have you. Uh, feel free to join them and do it, you know. Join the party. Um, but with that, have a very good evening or day or morning or whatever time you watch this. Take it easy. Thank you very much.